video is what to do if you have a personal protection order in place and you are and you know it's going to expire potentially during this time of court closure. Uh, normally PPOs are set to expire on a certain date and unless there are grounds to extend them, then they just expire and people go about their business. Um, if you are concerned, however, that there's something about your personal protection order expiring that's gonna keep you not safe or that there's a potential violation and there's reason for you to believe that, you can request an extension from uh, the court for your personal protection order. You're gonna go to that SCAO website, the Supreme Court Administrative website, or you can Google Michigan Court Forms, and you're gonna download a motion to modify, extend, or terminate a personal protection order. Um, you need to fill out specifically why you feel you need it extended and uh, what the reasons are. Again, if there are reasons um, specifically that someone has reached out to you or people are reaching out to people you know, and there's cause for the court to consider extending it, be as specific as possible. You're going to file that at this same uh, website or the same email address. It's a listserv. It's l-ppo at washtenaw.org. Um, if there are any attachments for the motion, if there are Facebook posts or social media posts or texts or things like that, submit only those that are necessary. But if you do that in, and file that or upload them to that website or to that email address, then uh, I or another judge will review that, make the decision, and then we'll uh, decide the motion to either extend it or to, um, or to not. Uh, if it's extended, you'll need to serve the other side with that order. Um, that would be done through the Sheriff's Department, uh, their civil process unit. You don't want to serve that yourself, but once that is done, it would be extended, and then the respondent would have an opportunity to file for a hearing once the courts reopen. Uh, as far as the uh, motions to modify or motions to terminate a personal protection order, unless you can make a case that that is truly an emergency, that's not going to be heard or that's not going to be considered until the courts reopen. Thank you.